Hello, and welcome to Bob's Vape Reviews. Today, I'm very honored and very privileged to be doing a review on this said mod. All items in this review were bought by me for doing the said review. Now, this is a, a mod that I've been looking forward to reviewing. Uh, when it first came out, I bought one, but then I didn't realize who the company was or anything about it. I was just getting into vaping. I was still a newbie. And uh, I ended up selling it to a guy in Ohio. He made me one hell of an offer. I, he knew what it was. I didn't. Uh, he got it, I, I thought, for a lot of money. But come to find out, it was cheap. Um, and now it took me a long time to find another one. So without any further ado, let's get going on this review. And this is not going to be like a, a new mod review. This is going to be a flashback. This is going to be uh, more of a bring up. An old mod, older mod that came out and bringing up a company that should be recognized and should be talked about. Really should. Because they hold high regard here in the Philippines. I'd like to give a shout out to Kevin, Rosetti, Rich Yomo, Boss Tony, Miss Rose Pagone, Viking Vapors. Okay. Now this mod is... The RVCC, which stands for Rich Vapors Crib Creations. It was named after his son, and it was established in 2014. Okay? And they came out with a bunch of different mods that became very popular here in the Philippines and around the world and in Japan. And of course, we are talking about the Duke Zephyr. And that is the third one in the line of mods. His first mod was the Black Diamond, which was a two-battery two mod, in which he decided to go then with, because of his smaller hands, and Filipinos and Asians have smaller hands, they went with a smaller mod, a single-battery mod. And that then that's what came out with the Black Serpentis. That was their second mod. Then the Zatiki. Zatiki, excuse me. Then the Duke Zephyr. Uh, Black Serpentines, that's a demon, represents evil. Uh, Ziteki, that represents a frog. And the Duke Zephyr is, is, uh, represents animals and dogs. So everything has a meaning behind it, and I really love that. And it's one thing about the Philippines. They're, they're so proud about what they make and what they do. Uh, this mod was made with a lot of heart. And a, and a lot of, a lot of love for the vaping world, okay? Now, the Black Serpentis was the big one. That one hit the market and everybody went nuts because it was a beautiful side fire, small in size. There were videos on the internet, there was a magazine article, and there was even a TV show done about it. And in 2015, it won Best Tube of the Year, which it highly, highly deserves. Then he releases Yuteki, and then that's when the soap opera stuff started. Here in the Philippines, they got this uh, uh, East, West, North, South, Biggie, Tupac thing going on. Uh, people are vicious. They really are. I'm sad to say. I'm not going to take sides. I'm not here to judge anyone. I don't care. I'm here to vape. That's what reunites us is vaping. And I'm not, I don't care about who does what or does what. I'm here to tell you about this mods, about mods from the Philippines. And this is one of the top of the line ones. This is a high-end mod by a high-end maker. When the soap opera stuff started... Zeteki, he then released the Duke Zephyr, starting with 300 pieces. Now, that's another thing about the Philippines. They make small batches. It's not like in China where they can make 20,000 mods in a weekend, all right? These are all done in small batches, okay? Now, let's get into this one a little bit more. Now, there was meta very many special editions, limited edition mods made by RVCC, some Special edition Thailand, some special edition Manila, some special edition Japan. He was really, really took off in Japan. 
and Japan really bought up a lot of his mods and they recognized and they realized the quality and the craftsmanship behind these mods. His last mod that he made was the Grat Gavel. Yes, Justice. Uh, because of all everything that had happened in his past, he came out with that name and that mod. Now, this mod is a very, very nice mod. I got this from Boss Kevin, and it took me a long time to find one in good condition. Now, this guy bought it, bought it himself, and as you can see, it is in phenomenal condition. I love the etching here. The paintwork is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. That is nice, boy. That's sharp. Then you got your plate here. You got some Japanese. You got Night Parade. Duke Zephyr. This is a metal plate. We're going to get into the plates late in a late, little bit later. But right now, let's take a look at this beautiful mod. Delrin body. Delrin firing button. Copper contacts. You got a brass tube. You got a little bit of air for venting. This is a hybrid, so remember, always screw your atomizer on first and make sure you have a 510 with a make sure you have an Addy with a protruding 510. Excuse me. I'm getting ahead of myself. My brain is going faster than my mouth. I apologize. Let's take this battery cap out. Wow. I tell you what, this has got some of the best machining I've ever come across here in the Philippines. This is unbelievable how tight these threads are and how smooth. Wow, I'm impressed. I used to work at a machine shop, so I know a little bit about machining. This is their battery cap for this model. You can see it's different than most battery caps. There's the air vents. I love I love how the machining they do here is unbelievable. Unbelievable. She needs to be cleaned. And I will clean her after I do this review. I just wanted to show her as I picked her up. As you can see the inside, nice clean. She needs a little polishing, but other than that, she is beautiful condition. Really nice. I have no qualms. I, I love the feel of this mod, and I, it's so small. I could I can't explain to you guys just how small it is. If you look at my hand, it's very, th very thin and sexy. Ooh, maganda, maganda. Oh, 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 oh. Let's take some measurements, guys. Let me put the battery cap in. Wow, that threading is unbelievable super smooth man very nice threading very nice machining boss rich one hell of a mod here boss one hell of a mod we got a spring activated firing button with copper contact I'll break it down later but right now let's take some measurements and see what she does okay first let's bust out the scale now this is without battery you guys Come on, stay on, zero, okay. She weighs in at 152.3. She's got a little bit of weight to her, boy, for being so small. She's got some weight to her. It's that brass inside, solid brass too, beautiful, beautiful. Nice, 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 nice. Let's get rid of this. Let me get, let me get my mics out. Hopefully it'll work this time. Yes, it powers on. All right. Let's take some measurements, guys. Height. Right. About 90. 90. Width. Twenty seven point four depth thirty six point five. Told you guys it's small. Let me put my mics away. It's a small mod. 
and it's a beautiful mod. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. Okay. Now, where should I start? Let's go with... Let's go with plates. The plates are very big with this mod. The plates... People really go nuts for the plates. There's even a group that collects just the plates. And these plates are nice. They're made out of metal. Really nice plates. This is a very nice plate. And I love this. And I'm going to show you how to change this plate. Okay. We are not. I repeat. Not. Going to use any metal tools. Do not. Use any metal tools to replace or remove the plate. Please, I'm begging you, do not use any metal instruments to pry this plate off. Use your fingernail if you've got one. If not, go pick up a couple of these. You can pick them up at Lazada. They're pry tools. They're made out of plastic. You want to use something plastic to get this off if you don't have a fingernail or not strong enough. You want to use something plastic. No metal. Voila metal. Just use a metal pick. Even a guitar pick. A guitar pick will work. You find the edge of it. Find a good edge where there's space. Put this in. I'm doing it off camera, guys, so you could, so I can see what I'm doing. I can't see with it on the camera, all right? You pry, and it comes pops right off. It's just double sticky tape on that side, okay? And this is about time for change. I'm about ready to change this sticky tape. This is a... Uh, I would use rubbing alcohol, get that off, and use my fingernail to scrape it all off, and then I would use two pieces... Of double-sided tape inside there okay clean the back of the badge clean the back of this with rubbing alcohol and a piece of tissue which I'm going to do right now with my alcohol I'm sorry I'm off the camera you guys There, I wiped the back off with rubbing alcohol so I know that it will stick. I'm waiting for the rubbing alcohol to dry. Okay, this it go, depends on which way you want to do it. You want to do it this way, you want to do it this way. It's up to you what your personal like is. I'm going to drop it in just like that. And as you can see, we have a new emblem on there. Bob, how do we get the tubes out? Well, you take your battery cap off. Remember to be working over something that's soft. So if you drop something, it doesn't go bouncing and disappears forever. And pull. And pull. Hold on, you guys. I'm off camera. I'm sorry. Because I can't use my arm strength to pull the tube out. As far as the top portion, I recommend using a pencil or something plastic. Do not put anything metal in there. Do not put anything that will go up into the 510 area and ruin the threads. You'll damage the threads if you put anything metal in this tube. Okay, so use a pen. I'm using a pencil. And I'm just going to put it right in the center and push. And put. I got to do it off, off camera, you guys. Hold on, you guys. I'll be right back. I'm back. I'm sorry, you guys. I had It's hard with one leg. I had to get on the floor to pop it out, okay? But she did come out. She needs to be cleaned. She, she came out with no problem. I used a pen. I used a plastic pen. Do not use anything metal to be doing any of this, okay? 
that's how she came out so basically you have your two tubes with a space in between and when you push the firing button it completes the circuit and it fires and here's the tube as you can see it's got beautiful artwork on it it really does you got your choice of this or the demon oh, 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 oh. or six 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 yes in this black area here it gives you a little idea of how to center it when you're putting the tube back in and you want to center it correctly okay just like so huh huh these guys are smart i love this mod. here's the body the body itself is excellent work was done. Really, really. Uh, I'm, I'm speechless. And I'm from New York. And I'm speechless. Get the hell out of here. This is something else. There's a firing button you can see inside. Barely copper firing button. We'll go, we're going to take that apart in a minute. As a matter of fact, let's take it apart now. All right. Now, to, to undo the firing button, it's as simple as lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. But I like to use a cheat. And my cheat is a rubber band. And I just like to lay the rubber band over the top of it, like so. I'm doing this in an odd way because it's not in front of me on the camera. And then I could just turn. The rubber band gives me a little bit of grip on the button. I hope. Hold on, I gotta go off camera, you guys. So bear with me, okay? I'm gonna lay the rubber band on top of the button. And I'm gonna push down. And hopefully, it comes unscrewed. Yep, she did. I got it. Now be careful, you guys. This is Delrin threading in here. Delrin threading. So you want to be careful not to be cross-threading. Take your time putting it back together, you guys. Do not be in a hurry or a rush. And there it is. There's your contact and your firing button. And it needs a little cleaning. Spring button. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Delrin. Bob tip number one. Pencil. Pink eraser. Copper. Just go over the top of it a couple times and it cleans it right up. See? Beautiful. Works with copper. I love this tube. The brass needs a little bit of polishing. So does the top cap. Okay. You got a piece of Delrin in there to keep to stop from cross. This is beautiful. Really nice and really well done. Well, we got the button. I want to give a shout out to Viking Vapor. Viking Vapors. Yes. They sent me fisheye buttons for my DZ. In the bag, what do we got? I got some stickies. Ooh, stickies. I love stickies, man. I love stickies. Sticky, sticky, stickies. I'm going to keep them. I have a glow in the dark one. And I have a blue one. Today, we're going to use the blue one. So, let's put that one back. Let's put the stickers back in the bag. Viking Vapors. Check them out on Facebook. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this button. The Delrin button to the blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push on the contact, unscrew it, very easy, there's your spring, I'm going to take the spring out, I'm going to take the blue button and put the blue button in there, put the blue button and the spring into the firing mechanism, take my copper contact and I'm going to screw it on like so. Make sure she's tight. There she is. Okay. 
Don't lose the original. Do not lose the original. Keep your original. You want it if you ever intend on selling your mod. I'm putting the original in the bag with the glow in the dark one. Okay? And then just screw it on. Make sure you're straight. Take your time. It'll thread in very easy. Like I said, the threading is very precise on this mod. You don't have to muck around too much. All right. I think that's tight enough. And there we go. There's our blue fish eye. All right. Let me put the tube back in. I'm going to have to go out off the camera for this because I'm going to need the strength of my arms. Okay, but that's basically how it does, how it goes. Just like so. Easy peasy. Oh, 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 oh. There's your 510. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Going to use my Vertec. I've got Ultim Spacer on the bottom, of course, you guys. You guys know me, how I am with that. And remember, brass brush. Pick up a brass brush. Bob's famous for his brass brush. I know. But it comes in handy. You could go like this. And clean out any thread, all the threading, and clean out any dirt, any old juice, anything that's got stuck in there, any bullshit. Get it all off there. And then you can take the mod and you go in the threads. Yeah, man, she clean. She clean. Now we're gonna put our Addy on. Oh. Sexy. Make sure you're using good bats with good wraps. Boy, I'm impressed. This machining is so nice. Whoa. It's a pleasure screwing in this battery cap. This is nice. Now I have to do a little bit of adjusting. Let me see why. I think of the fire button. Hits very well. This is a nice mod, boy. I must say, the hype is real. Now I understand why everybody went crazy for this mod. I understand. The hype is real. It is a nice mod. It is a mod you must have if you're a mech collector. If you collect Filipino mods, you must have one of these in your collection. Period. If you're a mech fan, you need to grab one of these. Find one. They're out there. But be careful. There is many, many, many clones and copies and imposters and fakes. Be careful. Get the original. If you don't know where to find one, contact me. I will lead you to one, okay? Please, you guys. I don't want to see anyone getting ripped off or getting a fake one, okay? This mod, the hype is real. It's for real. I love it. Bob score. I'm going to give it a 9. My first 9. This is a 9. And it's a strong 9. And now I've got the fever. Now I'm looking for Zateki. I'm looking for plates. Oh, I... I went and I got the, I got this mod yesterday and immediately found the firing buttons for it. Oh, nice. Brought to you by Drip, Mystic Vape, 
Mystic Bait Pasai. Very good. Thank you. Please stop by there and grab some juice from them. They're good people. Again, this mod. Super sexy. Maganda. Ho, 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 ho. This is what the Philippines is all about, boss. This is it. This is one of the nicest mech mods I've ever come across. Would I highly, do I recommend you buying one? Yes. When? Now. The longer you wait, the harder it is going to be to find one. The hype is real. Now, I'm going to go outside and do a cloud check for you guys. So, I'll see you out there shortly, okay? Thank you. Peace. Hello, everyone. I'm back. Mod, I changed the plate again because I like this plate better. The Japanese plate. I like this better on it. All right. A couple things I didn't go over that I'd like to go over now. Uh, my likes and dislikes. I'm going to do dislikes first. Dislike. Hard to find. These things are hard to find. They're not easy to find, man. Not anymore. Second thing, price. This mod holds its value in price very well. It has not gone down by much. So they're hard to find, and it's hard to find at a good price. So keep that in mind when you're looking for them. If the price is too cheap, it's probably a clone. Remember that. Now, let's do a cloud check. I can't think of anything else. Oh, also, I apologize to all the Filipinos out there that are listening to this. I'm sorry for the nosebleed. Uh, I have not seen many videos done in English on this mod, and it deserves a review in English. So, I apologize to all my Filipino friends. Uh, I know I should know Tagalog by now. I've been here 20 years. But for some reason, I just can't do it. It makes my nose bleed. All right? So let's do a cloud check, you guys. Once again, using Drip from Mystic Vape here in Pasai. Good people to deal with. Put a little juice on her. I just changed my cotton. Let's go for a hit. Definitely a cloud maker. It hits really well. That's only single coil, you guys. Single coil. Five loops. 24 gauge. Single coil. A1 Canthal. Very happy with this mod. Very happy with this mod. I couldn't tell you guys how happy I am. I've been excited all night. I stayed up making my script for the video and what I was going to say to you all. But I tell you, you guys would not be unsatisfied by buying one of these mods. This is one of the better mods. She's put together well. Craft, the craftsman is craftsmanship is excellent. Customization. You can get the buttons. You can get different plates. You can get silver firing pin. Solid silver battery caps. You can do they even go as far as silver tubes and silver top tube. They've gone as far as that on this mod. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative and helpful. You guys take care. Be safe. God bless you. And vape on. Peace.